Hi, I'm Steve Grassell. Today we're doing a tutorial about audio in MZ using an external editor. First thing you need to do is go to Special, select Audio Mixdown and Video Mixdown. This just tidies the whole file up so it's easier to export and put into your editor. Go to Export and you're using a digital reference file. Select the folder, which is an audio master that I've already created earlier. Once you've done that, press Save. As simple as that. Now you can close Avid down. Now you can see the two files within the folder. Drop the QuickTime file into SoundForge and it automatically brings the audio in as well. Now you've got two, you've got your video and audio file. Check that it plays by pressing the play button. Obviously I'll check this, I'm not gonna bore you with playing it now. Once you've done this, you need to make sure you save the file so that you've got uh, a new file and you're not using the original. Now because it's got video in there, it will come up with video. You need to disable this first, otherwise you will save another uh, video file unless you specifically want to do that. Change the settings to a WAV. Uh, change the name of the file to master WAV. There you go. Uh, go to your audio master folder and then save. Now you're actually using a new file, which is your, your master, and you can do whatever you want with this now. One thing you mustn't do is change the length of it, otherwise it won't sync up when you drop it back in. Uh, for EQ, I'm using Timeworks, Timeworks Mastering EQ, which is quite a good EQ. I mean, obviously there's millions on the market you can choose from. There's also normally EQs within the software as well. Another good one in SoundForge is um, Wavehammer which is a, a mastering compression system that puts a bit of a sparkle back into it, also compresses the file as well, which is quite nice. Get a good result with that. Once you've done all that, you then save the file again. You do this in your original audio master folder. Uh, and you save this and it will actually overwrite the original file. Once you've done that, you then go back into Media Composer, go to Import, uh, select your master audio file in your audio master folder, open it, which then drops it into your bin. Double click on it, which drops it into the preview window. Once uh, it's in the preview window, make sure you disable the video track, otherwise it'll drop it in front of it or behind it. And then overwrite the audio track. And there you go. As easy as that. Well, it's pretty easy. If you get stuck uh, and you have any problems, then obviously send me an email. I'm more than happy to try and help you through it if I can. Over the next coming weeks, um, I'm going to do some more audio files. I keep getting asked to do a lot of these. One of them is going to be in a multi-track uh, setup. The other one's going to be in um, Cubase SX, so that those of you that are composers will know how to use sequencing. Uh, show you how you can then put that through. That takes a little bit more uh, time and effort because obviously you have to use outboard equipment. Okay, I hope you'd enjoyed it. Thanks very much. Bye.